Hi, everybody. My name is Luke Anderson. I am from Arroyo Valley High School in the San Bernardino City Unified School District. Um, I made a previous video on how to activate the product, the, My, the HRW product uh, or the HMH for the students, the online text. Um, so if you haven't watched that video and you're kind of confused on how to activate the text, uh, please go back and watch that video. It's very easy. You just go to manage classes and then you activate the product. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about how do I assign, excuse me, how do I assign assignments through the My HRW online? So I'm going to show you that real quick. So uh, the first thing is that it's going to look like this when you go to My HRW. Then you go to Browse. And then you're going to go to the grade level that you teach. Now, I teach 9th and 10th grade. So I teach three sections of each. So I'm going to show you how to do it through the 10th grade. So you can select text from the My HRW um, that are in correlation with the standards. However, I'm going to go to Program Structure, and I'm going to go to Collection 1, Ourselves and Others. And what is Goldfish Would You Wish? I really like that. Now, here's the thing about the collection openers. They allow you to assign assignments, but it's like I've seen the first two pages of this, assign, of this assignment, and there's not much to really um, assign. Um, other than maybe, you know, some, some teachers might be able to figure out how to assign those first two pages of the collection. But um, I just like to go to the, um, the text. So what is Goldfish Would You Wish? I always read that with my sophomores. And you click on it, and then it drops this menu down. So uh, Student Edition, What is Goldfish Would You Wish? Pages 3 to 8. That is the um, the actual uh, fi fictional genre of what is goldfish would you wish, and I am going to assign that to my sophomores. Okay, so I'm going to click assign, and then I am going to select a class. So because of uh, privacy rights, I actually recorded another video, and then I realized I can't post that video because it infringes on uh, students' rights. So uh, I'm going to go to this class that I just made up to show you. And uh, it's going to be uh, annotate, but it's not going to be that text. It is going to be what of this goldfish would you wish? Pretty fascinating fictional genre if you haven't read it. And then uh, analyze for literary devices and characterization. And of course, I'll, I'll do a, a, like a mini lesson on how to uh, how what my expectation is for this. Okay, annotate. Okay. Every three paragraphs. So any student that's had me, they know what the expectation is there. Um, so always available. I'm gonna say no, and then I'm gonna say uh, August seventeenth, and then all students. So I have Betty Boop, Wackadoodle, Dundee, and Joe Schmo. I'm going to submit it to those three students. Okay. And so I assigned it to those three students. Now, you might be asking, well, Mr. Anderson, you only assigned it to one period. You said you had three sections of sophomores, and you're absolutely correct. So how I would do this if I wanted to assign it to all three of my uh, sections of sophomores is I would go to copy, and then I would go to my three sections of sophomores right here, okay? And it's not going to show the students' names or anything, so I don't have to worry about that, unlike the last video. And then assignment copy successful has the green checkbox, very good. 
close. And if you go to period five, you always want to double check because I've, I've, I've assigned stuff and I thought I assigned stuff and it turns out I actually didn't assign the assignment. So uh, you always want to double check and make sure that you assign the assignment. And then you uh, basically select the, the period that you want, so period five, grade 10, that's a CA collection. And then there you go. It's right there. Okay. Let's go to period six. Select the book that we want. There we go. And then period seven. Very good. There you go. So then when you go back to your home page of the My HRW or uh, the HMH online, I keep calling it My HRW, but you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay. So it's all right here. So what does Goldfish would you wish? What does Goldfish would you wish? So there's four sections and then there's like that made up section that I made for uh, just to like demo to you and on how to do this. Um, and so I basically annotate and I should tell them what the expectation is on the annotations for uh, a quilt of a country or uh, if they're my sophomores, what is goldfish would you wish? So uh, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please don't hesitate to email me or text me uh, if you have any questions about how, how to do something on uh, HRW uh, or the HMH collections online. Um, Mr. Buck and I have been doing this for years, and then Mr. Buck retired more recently, uh, not too long ago. So um, I've been using this online stuff for you know, a few years now. So, uh, so yeah, don't hesitate to ask me. I, I know a few ins and outs of it. So I don't know everything about it, but I know a few things about it. So, uh, yeah, just don't hesitate to get in contact with me. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.